I made a fake one. If you are a Power Ranger fan and you don't like these upcoming episodes after you see them of Dino Fury, I do not know what to tell you. This brand is trying new things. The storylines are amazing. The action is amazing. And today I am going to give you guys the official international spoiler review from the fan club of power rangers dino fury episode 14 of season two rafcon revealed this was probably one of my favorite episodes of the whole series so far and it's leading into other ones the, this this whole 11 episodes it's just i haven't seen the rest yet but based on the descriptions and what I've seen so far, it seems like every episode's going to, into the next one, and there's a lot going on right now within the storyline. So first, we're going to give you guys um, the regular fan description that I think, you know, is put out by Netflix or Power Rangers, whatever, and it this is what it says online, and then we'll give you the official fan club description, guys. Uh, the ranger teens head to rafcon to stop lord zed but because of a prophecy ion takes unnecessary risks the rangers find rafcon the villains follow the rangers to claim the sporks generator our heroes find themselves in a bad situation and have to be saved by the green morphin master what happens to them now that's actually a pretty good description it tells you a lot what's going on we're going to give you a more in-depth look at what's going on so let's get into it episode 14 rafcon revealed we start off with a really cool capture the flag contest at buzz blast it's like a really cool nerd or a nerf gun fight and it's never been done before i have never seen anybody in the years have like a, a nerf gun fight and and the the camera work was cool the slow motion was cool i actually thought it was pretty fun and then um the rangers are going to rafcon rangers go on their first intergalactic mission guys number one first mission into space so it makes a lot of sense for cosmic fury to be coming soon they use the megazord to travel and they use the cosmic gateway i thought that was a really cool touch i know a lot of fans speculated on that rangers get to rafcon and there's nobody there the rangers find zed and the gang and they kind of are sneaking up on them and zed wants to find the sporex generator and ion decides to crash the party instead of kind of hearing more or getting away and forming a plan ion crashes the party on his own and the rangers are forced to battle nalai and boom blaster zed and scrozzle get away there were some really amazing fight scenes right from the get-go and nullai retreats and then we get hit with another really sweet fight scene with, with boom tower and then he ends up getting away um after the fight zion tells ion to chill out and quit thinking with emotion he did cost them the element of surprise ion is being stubborn saying all he needs is a one-on-one -on -one versus zed and that he's destined to win <laughs> that's crazy do you guys remember the zeo episode back in the day when rocky tried to take on the the machine empire on his own the machine king like king mondo guys like and he got to really messed up from it like didn't we learn anything from the past man um the rangers try to find the sporex generator before zed and they did a little switcheroo so they knew that the rangers would sneak up on them so they're like we're gonna find the sporex generator i got a plan and really they they didn't they were gonna watch the rangers walk them right into the dang sporex generator so super sneaky and smart from lord zed i love it and even scrozzle said oh yeah i knew that was gonna work something like that it, it was cool um zion sees his old city his old city and he's reminiscent on how it used to be 
there is nothing left and the vi the villains are spying on the rangers and they lead them right to the generator uh, there's another insane fight scene i loved this particular fight scene i thought it was cool all of them in the show kind of had their own little twist Scrozzle and Zed are starting to take over the generator and Ion runs up on them and as soon as he runs up on them he gets taken out instantly from a blast from Zed and uh, Zed tries to blast Zato but he uses the shield key and he deflects it at uh, is his name Scizor? I don't even know that guy's name but the guy with like the knives on his arms um he buys the rangers some time and they power up and they freeze boom tower and nullai so they got a little bit of time but zed blasts zato and knocks him out cold man he he's out of it uh it, it it's really just crazy how powerful zed is i love that that this Ever since we've seen Zed this season, he has been getting his hands really dirty. Um, and one of the best lines from the show was Lord Zed said, why don't you do what the rest of your people did and go extinct? That was crazy. And then he takes out Zato and blasts him. Uh, Zed was about to destroy the rest of the Rangers. And then an invisible shield pops up and they teleport away. Uh, so they get back to the base and they think that like Solon teleported in there and she's like, I didn't teleport him there. And they put him on the table, give him a med scan. And, and Solon says, it's not looking good. Like his vitals are getting worse. Like he's probably, he's going to die. Like Zato's going to die, man. And then an awesome scene happens where you look over and this portal's opening up and it's the dang green morphing master. Uh, she says, don't be afraid. Everything is going to be all right. That whole scene, it looked really cool. Uh, yes, some fans are probably going to hate all oh, that. That CGI looks cheap. Like we don't have the biggest budget. I thought for what it was, it looked pretty dope. Um, I people are always going to hate when you don't got the big bucks to make things look super cool. But I thought it was legit. Um, end of scene. She's like, don't be afraid. Everything's going to be all right. End of scene, meaning we're going into the next one with this crazy outlook on it. Man, is it a good time to be a Power Rangers fan? Like I said at the beginning of my video, these episodes are really well put together. If you've been a fan of the brand and you don't like these episodes, I don't know what to say. They're really doing an amazing job, and I get not everyone out there is going to be a Power Ranger fan. Some of the lines, some of the things, the suits maybe, it, it might not be your thing, and that's okay. But if, if you like your episodes or your seasons like RPM, if you like Time Force, if you like In Space, uh, your, your Jungle Furies, your, uh, your Dino Thunders, they have elements of that in this. They have callbacks, even if they're not bringing back a bunch of past rangers they're definitely talking about old ranger history and making it all work we know that they're in the same universe as the beast morpher rangers they're literally right next door so it, it's super cool i i love it i shout out the cast the producers the voice actors the, the, the director, Simon Bennett, the whole gang, everybody that has a part with this, their writer. If you've made a, a, a difference within this season, thank you. I absolutely love it. I thought season one was good, but this, this season two is ridiculously awesome. This episode was unreal. We went to RavCon and... Even though nobody was there, we still had one of the craziest episodes. Now, maybe they live under the earth. Maybe there's a whole thing. We, there has to be people here. Like, it's back to normal. It sh it's sh showing signs of life, if you will. It should be somewhere. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I want to thank everyone that takes the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and we couldn't do it without you. 
I love these fan theories. Talking to you guys is really just amazing to be on the other side of this, to feel the love, to see all the comments. Yeah, you get your occasional troll from now and then, but really 80, 90% of it is love. It, it is fan theories. It's fun. And that's what I wanted to always build this community with is it's family. We're not just here because we like Power Rangers. We, we, we're, we're all similar but different in a lot of ways, but we share a common interest. And when you're on this channel, it's a good vibe. I And every once in a while, I might have your little, maybe, you know, a small negative rant. But we really do try to build up the brand of Power Rangers. We are big fans of what Hasbro is doing. And this is just a bigger reason why to believe in the bigger picture. I love what they're doing, man. I can't wait for you guys to see this episode. You're going to love it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Shout out to our Gold Ranger member, Willie Maloney. Sign up to become a member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace.